Hey guys, welcome back to Melanie's Yoga Couch. I'm Melanie and today we're having a short yoga chat. So if you're dead set on having a dynamic practice right away, go ahead and click the link above. Otherwise, if you're staying with me, we're talking today about this little guy. You've probably seen it in your yoga class and you've even more likely heard it. This is a Tibetan singing bowl, a type of bell. And the teacher will often use it maybe at the beginning of class or before or after meditation to kind of draw you back from a meditation or in Shavasana to help you reach a deeper state of relaxation. And kind of the effects of the singing bowl, it will help you find more stillness and silence and help you to turn your attention more inwards. So that's kind of the intention during the class. My first experience with the singing bowls was in New York at one of the first studios I ever went to. And they had a really big, a giant singing bowl. And it had just an amazing noise. And, I, and I'll always remember that. And it, it, because it impressed me so much with how the noise kind of just surrounded you and, and filled the room. And you couldn't really pinpoint where it was coming from. And you could also feel the vibrations in the body. They always used it in Chavasana and it really did help me to find more relaxation and to focus, turn the focus more inwards. As you can see, my bell here, my singing bowl, is pretty small. It's made of metal. They can come in all different sizes and be made of different materials. So they each have their own individual sounds. So if you're interested in buying a singing bowl, then it's good that you try it out, test it out before you purchase it. And it's also important that you maybe look at a tutorial before you do that to find out how to play the singing bowls. I know when I first first got this one, I thought it was broken because every time I went to play it, it just an awful sound came out. And now, after looking at some YouTube videos actually, I found that it can really make a really beautiful sound. So I encourage you before you go out and purchase your singing bowls that you kind of give, maybe look at it, watch a couple YouTube videos and find out some of the techniques that people use to play the singing bowls, because that is important. Um, you might notice that your teachers may strike it sometimes hitting the sides or they'll um, move the mallet around the outside edge of the bowl. Yeah, so that's it for today. I hope you learned something. Um, if you did, please give the video a like. That helps me out a lot. And I hope to see you next week. Thanks and have a great day. Namaste.